Mona. Oh. <laughs> it is the 28th of July. Ju June? July. July 2020. I know. It's a really good thing about it. Well, it's school holidays now, so that's your excuse. Uh, yeah, good morning. Nobody ever expecting me, so I don't know if anybody would be in. But, um, God, do you know what? Yesterday, early evening, I was so bored, and I just went, I thought, oh, I can go live. Bye, darling. Um, she's going to have a breakfast at 10.53. My job, just have mine, just had a yoghurt. Um, but I thought, oh, God, it's all, like, people I live with in, my lounge, in the lounge, which is where I'd want to do it, really, so I couldn't. Um, Connie had on one of the, uh, not one of the... It's like a really newer Terminator. It's all right. It's quite watchable. I was a bit bored. Um, morning, two people. Uh, morning, Peter. Morning, Dawn, Sherry, Paul. Oh, God, my hair is horrific. I have, I have managed <laughs> to get a haircut booked in for tomorrow. But the woman that did it before did such a dodgy job. I know they're going to go, hmm. Cut your head last time. I'm gonna go. Oh, I know. Just cut it. Just cut it. Maybe I should tell them it was a COVID cut. Um, morning, Jewel. Morning. Hi, Chris. Yeah. So I thought. <clears throat> excuse me. That I might as well come in there and look through some. Uh, go through sort some jewelry. So many necklaces I can find. It occurred to me because I'm doing all these bundles on Instagram. That I could out of 260 kilos, it's possible that I could just do no more bundles and I'd probably have enough stock till the end of the year. Just kind of like, wow, that's sort of comforting. Also, there'd be loads of things like sparklies that I'm not really into that I wouldn't really want to list. So then that would be hard going. Um, morning, Sarah. So actually, I'll, I'll show you what's going out. I've just got three all gold nexes going out this morning. I've been quite on top of my posting, so some may have gone out last night when Tom went on his walk. Oh, let's see how much this went for. How is everybody's sales, by the way? Is mine are up and down? Sunday was really good. So I had, after two donut days last week, two zero sales days, Saturday was 68. Sunday was great, 181. Then yesterday, 23 pounds. No, sorry, 33 um, and last week it was just like thirty pound days turnover. Terrible, terrible. How's everybody else's sales? Well, let's get up how much how much this stuff is sold for. I did put a load of auctions on as well. Some of which I accepted offers on. Couple sold, and so I'm only on twelve hundred on odd listings at the moment. Hello. No, darling. Are you going? Okay, have fun. Um, awaiting postage. Let's have a look at Lula. That's the dog. See the rabbit. Oh, this was one of the auctions actually. This has gone for five ninety nine. Five ninety nine from W. Where's W? You should probably know that. Um, it's nice. This actually. It's that kind. Of, actually, I would wear this. I would definitely wear this. I'm quite into these long Where's gold nuts at the moment. Where's what? Uh, is it not in my coat? Oh, I've got it in my. Oh, sorry, it's in my pocket. Um, morning, Kirsten. Hi, Susan. Yes, yeah, so that's gone five ninety nine on auction on its maiden bid. Let's put that back somewhere. Um, yeah, a bit gangstery. Somebody messaged and said, "Would I take a tenner on this?" So I was like, "Yeah." I altered the price. Um, took a tenner free ship on that. And then this one's gone for all different people by uh, £13.50. £13, I've got something really similar to this as well. And I thought I'd sold the wrong one, but yeah, £13.50 free ship on that. Very gangster, too much for me. Um, Ticking over for you, Jill. Oh, is that? Hi, lovely. Hi, Joan. Yeah, so slowish slowish on the bay and um, this is what i've got out of the garage to go through i got a couple of pots to stick things in i have my mat actually i'll show you i have a massive pot now on wheels which is full of 
um, it's all mixed up now. It's all kind of chunky stuff, but it's boho and just general chunky bead goodness. Whoa. Take a look at that. See all that? There you go. That is all stuff I've sorted. Love these. Apps. I don't know if I've shown you these. These wooden ones. I love them. Um, yeah, the stuff that's sorted, um, ready for bundles. But then I did wonder if I should just, I, I just so swing between. Oh, no, I'll just list it. I'll just list loads. Now I'm going to simplify my store. Oh, no, I'm going to stack it high. I'm just, oh, for God's sake, I can't make my mind up. Story of my life. Um, hi, Julie. Oh, is that two Julies then? Oh, hang on. Yeah, two. So, well, this, I think there's some kind of like Chinese jewellery in amongst this lot because this is a load of gold cuffs in bags. Um, let's see what it says on each. Come on, get out of there. There you go. Let's see what it says on the label. My cuffs people do quite like, actually, so it's not the worst thing to have. Tons of those. What does it say? The jewellery and watch gallery. Um, yeah. Let's see. A bit, a bit big for my wrist, but yeah. So if anyone wants a gold cuff in their bundle, well, let me know. Because I got a stack of them. Yep. Let's get rid of that. Um, I can see something I love. I sold, I think I got it off of stall, a red one like this. I absolutely, this is just, unfortunately it doesn't suit me. It's this too big thing. Um, but <clears throat> the green on that, that's gorgeous. Love it. So um, may I sell that actually. Let me do a pot for me to sell because I love that. So I should definitely list stuff that I love. Otherwise, what's the point? Have I been hoovering? Oh, I can see. I'm always, I'm always not, I, I'm not, not hoovering. Like Connie said last night, oh, there's the mad hoovering woman. Even she's had enough of it, but it's so quick. You like, you know, oh, <laughs> yeah. I love hoovering with my new hoover. Uh, that's just a little, a little beaded. Right, we're doing all right, actually. I tell you what, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get to some boxes that are just, I don't know, earrings, odd earrings or something. But when we were sorting yesterday, Maud was helping me found loads of necklaces, which is great because that's what we all want at the moment, isn't it? Um, this is quite nice. Looks like it needs a bit of sorting out. Oh, hang on, maybe is it meant to be like that? Or is it meant, is it meant to be in a knot? Oh, my, oh no, it's a multi-row, there we go, yeah, a multi-row beach festival holiday job, isn't it? That's what it is. Um, actually, it's quite, um, I think this is quite a Karen. But I've got so many Karens now, Karen necklaces, that I can just take them out of the big pot. Um... I love these. I know they're probably a supermarket brand and it's only like per specs. I love the, um, see it looks red, it looks very orange and brown on on your screen, Cherry, but it's really like those. Oh, get the air out of the way. Um, so I might list that myself, So I really like that. I really like the plastic stuff, I, I just do, I just do. That bit of doodle. Um, what's everybody else up to today? Take the strings off. I did see that a lot of this has come from H UK. Now that's nice as well. That's very nice. Um, yeah, just stand up necklaces, aren't they? They're just relatively easy sellers, I would say. I just don't know. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to list, what I'm going to put in the pot. That's something. 
I've had something like this before. I think it's shell. It feels like shell. It's a chunky monkey. Beach statement, that is. That's quite cool. Put that in the pot. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's got bonus hair. Little vintage beads. I'll just get my general bead pot. Oh, lovely green on that. Got a couple of bangles. Um, and a... Oh! Oh, these are lovely. Now, these are little... <clears throat> um edelweiss and i often have had these as brooches what's that oh vintage class oh that's nice look at that green stone on that i wonder if that's silver that's my magnetic it's my magnet my loop drinking tea and faffing oh good question um there'll be more of that going on here as well so you're not alone morning neil morning kelly Nothing much cleaning washing from Julie. Heidi Ho, Shelster. Heidi Ho, Heidi Ho, Ashley. Oh, it's not magnetic. So I think it's on, definitely on a silver chain. Um, oh, and the pendant isn't magnetic either. So I think that is a nice silver vintage something or other. Needs a clean up. Oh. oh. What in the hell just happened then? Oh, I'm back in the room. That was really weird. Firefox just started up. Uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know what that green would be. In fact, or is it anything? It's cold. Maybe it's just green glass. Um, Who's saying happy birthday to whose hubby? Nice little silver treat. Yeah, but you know what I'm like though. I'd rather find I'd rather I'd literally rather that to that, because that's what I want. Like. Um and I sold a silver chain. I think one went on auction for $5.99 on the weekend. Seriously, I just I will clean it up there. Oh yes, that's what right. I was trying to work this thing out. So, oh, just a gold bangle, stocking bangle. Um, this is absolutely lush, but it needs re-threading. Look at all these. So they'll be, I think they're plastic. Um, but you've probably all seen these little um, Edelweiss brooches. And this is like a whole load of them on a string. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I'm not the person to restring that, but I'm going to have to hang on to that because I love them. And what this be? Could be greenstone from New, Ze from New Zealand. Oh, greenstone, okay. What's the value of some... No, nothing, Peter. Like, honestly, with the silver... Um, for me, silver necklaces like that, I'm lucky to get a tenner. But then, you know, I don't know. Maybe I can't sell them. But you know how certain people can sell... Oh my god, a special gift for you. Some kind of modern brooch pin thing. Okay. Um, and probably some people are going, how does she get that for plastic necklaces? I don't know, if you believe in something, then I think you get more money for it. Uh, little vintage beads. I've got my vintage bead pots. I must see lady just been and gone. Lovely nail. Oh, is it? Um... Oh, I'm having a mind block. Do I have a restring or fix bits? No. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm keeping that. Well, no, see, once I did, um, I put a pendant on a hoop. Um, and I, so I did that. I put it on the hoop and I told Connie that I was a jewellery designer. And she was like, no, no. I said, I am. I, I, put, I chose this pendant and I put it on this hoop. <laughs> uh, so I had like a hoop and it was like, oh, what's this brand? It's an American brand that people like. Oh, it's not very descriptive. Anyway, it was a nice brand hoop, but I don't know where the pendant had gone. And then it was a nice 
think it was a nice glass pendant. So I said, it's a Murano glass pendant or something. And it's a blah, blah, blah hoop. And somebody bought that. I was very happy with that. Right, I see a lot of these these days, these wooden Cleopatra tribally necklaces. I'll go in my stand up box, I think. Um, what be going on here then? Two necklaces for the price of one. Um, there we go. That's just a yeah, standard boho beachy affair and a nice wooden job. Yep, standard stand up necklace. These, I mean, to be honest, so far I'm pretty happy with this job lot. Um, but then, like I said, there's a lot of boxes to get through, so it might be that I get to box number 10 and it goes downhill. Um, morning, Sue. If I miss myself, yeah, I've got three gold necklaces going out, so I could show you. It won't take long. Uh, mind you, I've been keep, keeping on top of my sales quite a lot. Because yesterday morning, well, when Pete was going live, we went out to um, do errands, drop stuff off, pick up a couple of tents, um, drop to the parcel shop, and then oh, that one's slightly buggered. It's got an, yeah. Um, and then Tom's been out walking a lot, so like if I, I just put le letters by the door and then whoever goes out is taking them. Oh, that's a shame. That's quite a nice necklace, but oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, no. Am I being a twat? Yeah, it's all right. I'm being a twat. Just needs threading through there and knotting up. <laughs> yeah, of course it does. And then it will be a necklace again. Yeah. So there. Um, morning, Sam. Just the opticians picking up the new gigs. Is that the glasses? Um, oh, baby. We like this. It's not anything in particular, but it's a really nice pendant. But this is just a cheap pendant. But that, I'll tell you what, they are, you know, it's just on a thong necklace thing. But these pendants, they, I bet it's like a china or something, but they are coming along, aren't they? Because that's nice. That is nice. The thing is, I'm also a bit grown, grown, drawn to green. Is that nice or is my, is it just awful? Because I think it's lovely. I've decided it's lovely. Um, shall I check? How's your jewellery sales going then, jewellery care? Of interest. I see that you're picking up loads of great stuff from the boot fair. Oh, just a... Just a layering heart for layering. Can't, yeah, really pleased. With, I shouldn't, I'm going to jinx it if I keep saying how pleased with how many necklaces I've got. Uh, right, that's just a standard. What be going on here? Why are, you, why are you done up so tight? Yeah, no issues there. Is there? No. Yeah, just a stand up beaded hoey type job so it's, oh sells so milk bottles that's good jewelry on the back burner right hey eh? um you've got a lot of good stock to list to be fair um global thrifters oh that's awesome do you mean that pendant um that's the thing when they by the time i see something i don't know what's uh what people are referring to so you need to kind of mention that was awesome oh, i was gonna say something rude then <laughs> What is the matter with me? That something, or um, I might think you mean my Hoover, which is awesome. Wait, right, come on, what is going on here? Or oh, you're talking about something else. Oh, see now, see now. Again, it's the. I know it's not an expensive necklace, but why would you not love that? Because it's and it, it's, it can't even. Like I said, I'm too small. A frame for this sort of stuff. But look at that purple and smoky grey, faceted, chunky beads. Somebody with the right stature could put that on with a grey dress or a lark nut, something like that, and look fabulous. Fabulous. The Hoover is awesome, yeah. Chris, I sold two items of jewellery so far. Fabulous. Uh, right, what be going on air? Oh, I think I like yes, I think I've seen this before. I like this again. It's like a pebbly, but
but it's got a kind of animal print theme. I gotta sell that. That's going in my special part. Um, <laughs> I did hoover the washing machine with my hoover. That, why not? It's light. If there's rubbish somewhere and you can get that hoover up and in it, why not? Uh, I hoovered the windowsills yesterday. That was a treat. Um, I know this is just a cheap bracelet, but look, little buttons. I am listing that. Don't try and stop me. Oh, that's just a thong, which maybe I could put a fantastic pendant on. Right, what have we got going on here then? Oh, I think that's a vintage necklace. I hope it's not broken. Right, so this is just a stand-up necklace. Oh, it's kind of what? Oh, it's kind of like woven wicker in between these circles. Well, some of the circles are woven wicker. It's just a stand-up boho. Right now, you, I bet you're broken. These blooming, oh, or are you? Oh, hello. We've actually got a vintage with all of its strands, a little hook, claspy. Hurrah! Right now, what does it say on here? It's, I think it's got some writing on it. Oh, it might just be a pattern. Sometimes it says W. Oh, do you know what it says? Often it says Hong Kong. It says Japan. That's not what I usually see on these. It says Japan. It's going to need to go. I don't know. I might, do you know what? I've started doing some little. Um, £4 delivered um, posts on my uh, Shell Strini jewellery and sort of a few bits on there and I might stick that on there because people like people like a vintage multi-row necklace and just I don't, it's, I don't know it's kind of a weird thing because it's not like I could sell it for more but like on eBay or put it in a lot but it's quite nice I don't know I'm quite enjoying it it's a bit playing shop doing that at the moment um it's, oh yeah, my from <laughs> Kelly, have I sorted it? Oh yeah, it's from my big bundle, yeah. Uh, no, I I opened one box to do show you some bits the other last week, and then that got covered up by other boxes. So I've opened another box, <laughs> and there's there's thirteen boxes. Um, God, yeah, that's just a cheap tag, but that's just a that's just a bog standard bread and butter necklace there industrial Claire do you clean the costume jewelry jewelry at all so much else I see it's tarnished or discolored um yes uh so do you mean of my jewelry or generally uh yes I do some stuff is so disgusting I you know where the ropes or the ribbons have gone nasty and they were really nice necklaces and I looked at them yesterday and I thought can I do anything with these? I cast a bait and put them in a pillowcase in a machine because I'm not really properly into cleaning. Um, and then I got so many necklaces else out of the box. I thought I'd just put them in the, the, bro uh, the broken lot for somebody to pick apart. Um, but then I've got my little bath. So really grubby beads go in there. Um, that silver necklace I've probably put in the bath and then buff up with silver cloth. Silver cloth. Yes, yeah, so the silver and the gold I do properly clean um i don't clean every necklace only if it feels um grubby oh, four pounds four pounds <laughs> yes um along the lines of oh thanks Kate. <laughs> generally yours was great <laughs> i thought you meant because i've had a lot from you and it was filthy <laughs> um morning crispy what are the beads I've made in that multi-strand vintage? Ag agate? No, they're, they're plastic. Plastic. Um, are they? Let me check. Oh, no, having said that, they feel glassy. They feel like glass. Can you see? What's that? No, yeah, they feel like glass, actually. Yeah, four pounds because do you know why? I took my lead from 
it's vintage that do that and i thought well if that's the going right so it could be a brooch could be um but also like i'm not doing combined shipping on that somebody bought two items it's eight pounds delivered um so yeah it's not it's only like a couple of quid or you know it could be bundled up and then i do big bundles and then i average um you're averagely paying about a pound a piece for a necklace so it's not much different apart from i guess it would only work for me if people do buy a couple of bits otherwise it is a bit painful um yeah so four pounds delivered yeah um claire i've got a few old ones from my mum but i've no clue about cleaning yeah well there's well, if you look back on my videos i bought a bath thing an ultrasonic cleaner i love it um and it, with the stubborn stuff it's it can sometimes loosen it so that you can clean it better. Right, I've got an issue here. Right, I do have a broken um, set of beads. Oh, it's a lovely class, which will go into a broken vintage lot, and it's attached to... Oh, I've seen this marble effect necklace before. Let's get you out. Let the dog see the rabbit, if we can. Are you not, hey, um, are you not going to tank the market? Oh, no, Carla, I don't, I don't know if there's a lag, but did you see, um, not on eBay this is, this is only on my Instagram, Shastarini underscore jewellery. Did you see Lex's video on Hex Vintage when she bought lots from them? They do... Uh, they sell their individual bits three pounds plus PMP. So I use that as a guide because the people that some of the people that have bought from me I only started on Sunday. Um, also buy from Hex Vintage, and that's what they're looking for. But then, of course, if I sell, oh flipping heck, I can't get this untangled. If I do a bundle, you see, if I do a forty pound bundle, people get. <clears throat> like 40 stand-up necklaces from the stand-up necklace pot averagely and so they're all going at a pound a piece so do you see what I mean from my point of view I can't I'll just come back to this um then as long as people are getting a couple of bits it works oh it's an, oh no this is not one of those but that is a nice cuff. I like that with the, uh, if I could, see again, I'm just useless at selling things like this on its own. And see, also the thing that it works a little bit is the stuff that I'm listing is only like 88p postage stuff. It's not, I couldn't obviously do this because this would cost three quid to send out. Um, and that's nice, isn't it? See you later, Sue. Morning, Antoinette. Right, here we go. This is nice. Yeah, that's just a modern necklace. Yeah, so if anybody wants to look at that, it's Charles to really underscore vintage. Looks like there was something on there, so that needs to be taken off that little bottom bit. Um, Charles to really underscore vintage, and who I was looking at was Hex Vintage, if you also want to look at that. Oh, just beads, go in my bead pot. Oh, hey, love finding these. Now, these need a clean. These are granny poppet, poppet beads, um, 60s of these, mid-century. Sometimes, oh, that one's a bit wobbly. So that needs a clean, but they are poppet beads that, that pull apart. I've got a whole bag for those. I love those. Let's put that in there. Um, oh, there you go, Rachel. I buy a lot from Hex and they are fab, although it can work out a bit pricey sometimes. A big bundle is always better value. Yeah, I've just done a bundle for you, haven't I? I think it's on its way. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> now I do remember now. I, I, I went by. I'm not going to buy. I'm holding off buying. I love bundle. <laughs> it does, yeah. So, yeah, so you can see... Gosh, bonus hair, but I really like this necklace. Similarly, like, if somebody bought quite a few things, it would be more expensive to buy individually than as a bundle. Oh, my God. It's just on a ribbon. 
I'm going to list this. But look, I love these amber tone or tortoiseshell style chunky beads. Lovely. Kelly, I'm getting rid of all my costume jewelry. Can't complain with one pound a necklace. That's cheaper than car boot. Yeah, what do you pay at the car boot for a costume necklace then? Well, I had, um, I sent out, oh, about, I think, I don't know, I think half a dozen, I've done like bundles before at the beginning of lockdown and then I sent half a dozen out. Oh, it's, oh this is pretty. Oh, look, little vintage um, clasp. It's very yellow, so I don't think it's gold, but but it's very cute. I don't normally like things that say things like mother on them, but it's kind of like, oh, I don't know if you can see that. It says mother and it's in a very um, vintage looking way on mother of, oh, I'm just screwing this right way up. No, I don't think you're going to be able to see that. Maybe you can see it now. Anyway, trust me, it says mother. Um, very light. I don't think it comes open. I think it's just a retro looking chain. But that, I think it's just so cute. Um, yeah, what do you pay at the car boot? Sorry for a costume necklace. No self control. <laughs> 260 kilos in the garage, you're talking to me. Um, I've got something very similar to this. I do like this for a very tribal necklace. And I think I know who might like this. And if you're watching, Sharon, am I right that you would like that in stuff I'm setting aside in case you want another bundle? <laughs> I pop that aside because I think you would like that. Um, I've got so many pots. Um, Mel wants a vintage bundle, <laughs> which is why I love doing the bespoke stuff because people specify. It's like, I want a vintage necklace. Not like this. Don't give me beads. Don't give me this. That annoys me. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I've got a pot with all this stuff right now. No beads, for God's sake. Don't do that. She'll annoy her. So, um... Oh, this is nice. Just a cord thong thing, but it's a nice glass pendant. So, see, the thing is, I don't know if you can sell these on their own for like a five or something, but if I was putting it in my pot, I would probably put, a, um, like, I wouldn't say, oh, that's worth a pound. I'd say that's like a 50p necklace, it's glass. And that's how I would do it pretty much. Unless, like, so some people say, I don't want any ribbons, don't want any thongs. Other people would be like, yeah, I like the thongs, I like the boho. Uh, oh, what's that sound? It's kind of a little taggy woo. Let's have a look. This is oh, something attached to it. I think I'm going to have to work on that. This is quite heavy, actually. That's the um, clasp. Nice, thick, heavy clasp. And what do you say on this? It says Adrian Mann. Adrian Mann, the double N, double N. Don't know that. It's quite heavy. I'll look at that. Adrian Mann. Um, this feels lovely. This um, Figaro, quite a thick chain, dirty as. And it would be lovely if that was silver, and it's not. It's got something written on it though. What you got written on it? Oh. 777. Seven, seven. I don't know what that is, but if that cleaned up, it would be a nice because I know people are quite into chunky silver chains at the moment, so I've got that cleaned. Um, Kelly, I buy in bundles but can't make money selling at one pound a piece on eBay. Oh no, yeah, this isn't for eBay. Um, this is for my bundles that I've been selling on Instagram. Uh, little vintage beads, barrel clasp, again the vintage bundles, although I do like the bead bundles, like just standard beads, like vintage and retro, I do sell like that, but then you could have that in there, 
that in there and I sell 60 of those for 40 quid delivered and they go quite well but when I'm buying like this then that works out all right uh oh this is filthy filthy I just think that's got to go in a it's not broken but I still feel like it's got to go in a broken bundle Oh, which I haven't got a pot near me. It's a bit daft. I've got another area. Disgusting. Just stick it on the floor. Right, that's oh, just a stretchy bangle. Do something with that. Another stretchy. Yeah, I've got stretchy bangles on as well. How many? I think 60 stretchy and another for the bead pot, 60 stretchy bangles for 20 quid delivered. And I did sell one the other day, but I've got a couple more on because I've got them coming out of my ear rolls. This is a nice necklace. Don't know if it's vintage or retro. Um, yeah, hard to tell, but it's really nice. So probably, as I can't tell if it's vintage or retro, just put it in my bead pot. I like that. <clears throat> yeah, I did think about doing a car boot, actually, but um, when I saw Heather talking about doing a car boot, I have sold jewellery at car boots before, but not since I was selling for myself. That just, that's just vintage rule, so go in my bead pot. But yeah, oh yeah, that was the exciting news. My car boot is restarting this Saturday. I cannot wait. So I'm going. Um, and then Saturday afternoon, uh, I've got friends coming around for fizz and jewellery sorting. They really want to come and do some jewellery sorting. I was like, fine, I'll get some fizz in. Tom's going to go and play at his friends and take the kids. Oh, that's a shame. Coffee coloured. Vintage, just plastic, but it's uh, I'll go in a vintage broken. Oh, Antoinette bought my sister and Adrian man next on Etsy for her birthday, fifty-five pounds. Hello, I think I put it in there to look up. Yeah, it does feel quite good quality. Love hello. See, that's just I just see, that's why I love costume jewelry as well because you're like you just like. Oh, I wonder what that is, and it turns out to be a winner. Oh, I'm happy with that. Love a low. Yeah, so I would have found something out about it because I would have looked it up, but that's great to hear. Thank you. Oh, I've got my there. Another bead. So I like all these beads. I just go in my bead box. Right, what have I got here that I can get easily? Ah. See, I like that as well. That's just a wooden stretchy, and I might. Try just list. I'm taking a leaf from Karen. Karen is quite good at selling bracelets, I think. I really do. Um, so I'm going to try and list that. I think it's so lovely. Just the colours. Kind of rush them. Right, this looks interesting. Oh, yep, yeah, chunky. Feels like it needs a bit of a wash, but bonus hair. Um, oh, it's all different shapes: triangles, squares, circles, geometric, different tone metals. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. And oh God, he started. Um, yeah. So that is a stand-up necklace. I'll give that a clean. Oh, so like this in a completely different way. Ah, oh, see, that's really nice. And I know that some people specifically like seed beads. I've been asked for whole seed bead um, bundles, but. trying to work out if it it's looking frayed at the end it's very delicate 
Oh, it might. I need to get the loop out and have a proper look at it. It might just be the ends. Need a trim. Uh, but I really like that. <coughs> right, stretchy bracelet. Oh, another little vintage. Could be silver. Let's test it. No, it's not silver. But I'll probably clean it up because somebody was it you chris was asking me for somebody was asking or was it rachel was asking me for uh, vintage chains to be able to put vintage pendants on because um the new chains the pendants don't look right um, right got a sparkly necklace there Oh, I don't these get on my wick as well. They're like the blooming wire fish hook, fish wire things. They get wrapped around everything. And I know it was like oh, big fashion. So you it's like an owl necklace, you'd get one and everything. Well, I'll have to untangle that later. It's just a cheap necklace as well. I'd probably just take that pendant off to be honest and do something with that. Uh oh. That's quite cute. Just put it in the bangle pot. Rachel was you in the chain, so have I saved. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Well, there's another one I can hold back for you there. Oh, that. Oh. Oh, that makes a change to find a brooch that isn't broken. Let's see if it does that. Oh, lovely. That's a nice vintage brooch. I haven't seen one quite like that before. Oh, it's like a lily, isn't it? A lily pad. Oh, I've got a bit of discoloration, but that is nice. That's the back of it. I think it might be mid-century, that kind of. You see the um, inner bit, the way it's held together? That's nice. It's getting heated. Yeah, I know. It sounds like he's leveled up a bit now. He said a straight was working some as well. Oh no, that's a weird one. That big clasp on it. It's just really light. I think somebody's put that clasp on there. It doesn't match the um doesn't match the silverness, but it's grubby as well, and it's a clear. So, oh got a sparkly here. Oh. Are you my favourite shop? Yes, you are. M&S, I didn't know it. I've never seen one like this from m and I've usually seen most things from there. Um, missing a couple of stones. I'd love to go in the brokenna. That's a shame. That is lovely. God, there's a good amount of necklaces coming out of this lot there. Oh, this is that. What is this? This isn't Florence and Fred, is it? FF. I've seen it so many times. I imagine it's like a supermarket or something, but does anybody know, or somebody told me before, FF. Um, it's not F and F, it's just FF. It could be, F oh, bother. Oh, actually, no, it's written really bad. I thought this was quite nice, but it's knackered. That's coming off and those are battered. So I'll have to go in the broken pot anyway. So we've got some kind of silver thing wrapped around there. Another one of these. That's not shell. It might be wood. It might even be plastic. It might be plastic actually, but that's just that's a good just beach necklace, isn't it? The bonus hair. Yeah. Happy with that. Is it fat face? No, I've seen I've got fat face stuff and it actually says fat face on it. Is it? FF. Or it's that guess. So I've had loads of it. But then I've also had fat face and it actually says fat face. Um, just a cheap layering pendant. Nothing special. Oh, what's this? It's not too bad in the tangle front, this either. I like these beads. 
got that kind of carnival glass plastic tones. Stick those in the beads, vintage and retro beads. FNF is Tesco, that would explain because I've seen loads of it. So it is their Florence spread. Thanks, double come. I was suspecting it might be. Ah, that's shame. That'll go in the broken vintage, like black glass. But this is often the way with these multi rows that they're missing a row. That. Hi, Pete. Oh, hang on. Rachel has had some fat face in this AFF on the tag. And I've, I've also had the fat face that says fat face, so I thought it wasn't that. Mm, tricky. But then the, oh, you actually had fat face that says FF. Hang on. Is it like that FF that I just showed you? I don't want to miss. I could just say, yeah, I don't want to mislabel it if I, do you know what I mean? Oh, that's like the, those little mountains are like the, um, I was going to say White Rock or something, or North Face thing, aren't they? Yeah, just a layering necklace. Um, is there a bit too bad for this? That's what I've got left for tangles. Pete, been to pharmacy who up the one pea items. 30 be well spent. Well done. The fact that this FF are kind of curly. Yeah, it's a little bit curly. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, some bangles and a bracelet. Has it got its tag? Yeah. I'll just get lotted up. Bangle. Oh, this is a bit of a. Oh, that's nice. Festooned. Um, it's the sort of thing that feels dirty and nice because it's like meant to be that kind of antique gold tone. I don't know whether it actually is. It always looks dirty to me. A bit goss. But I like that with all the stuff hanging off of it. Quite nice. Quite a stand up necklace. That needs to be in something so that it doesn't attach itself to everything. Ooh. Massive pin with a flower on the end. So, like a modern brooch. Oh, hang on. Modern brooch type. Oh, I suppose it's a. Oh, it's not very good. It's coming off. Like a um, kilt pin or something, isn't it? Oh, can I do a close up of the FF tag? Oh, what was it on? Um, I don't know what it was on now. Is it on that um, chunky monkey then? Oh, the chunky monkey is actually that's actually Zara, the geometric one. Um, and I've lost, I can't remember what it was on. Was it something I was going to clean? I've lost it, but I'll tell you what, I'll probably find another one. I've lost it. I will be if I find it. Um, East. Our old friend East that went under the other year needs a tank detangle. It's that. Um, seed beads. I didn't realise there was such a following for seed beads. All right, I'll detangle that at my leisure. But hopefully it's got all of its bits with it and then that will be a stand-up necklace. Right, many bits left in here. Just a layering gold tone job. Vintage beads. Oh, and a. Oh, that might match that little. 
Um, see, B thing I've got, but I'll just go in the broken that era. Um, another vintage beads for the bead lot. Right. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't look like it's got anything missing. Just a very, not my kind of bag, that. Just a very necklace, isn't it? Just a. Let's take the white bits off of it. What is in the bottom here? Oh, I can get tons of these, you know, supermarket trolley things. Oh, this might be, this feels a bit, it's either very tangled or broken. What be going on here? Yeah, I bet even if it signed off, I think it's just tangled, Dutch. Oh. Yeah, it's not I think it's just tangled, but it's just gonna be a layering necklace anyway, so sort of later. Oh that would be a lovely earring. If, um, I like these hook earrings. Find the other one. It's the Shambhala type bracelet. A bangle pot. Shell bracelet and a bangle pot. Um, broken. Oh, lovely beads though. Broken necklace. I don't know if you can see the. They look really different on the screen. They're like. Hello. Hello, Nelly. Um, don't know, but they've got lovely colours in them. Okay, and the broken part. Right, that's all I've got left out of this lot. Oh, we've got another m and I think. We've got an m and Sparkly. I know he likes these m and Sparklers. Well, I don't know if it's this site exactly, but it is M&S and it is a sparkler. Little evening necklace on the floor. It's on my left. <laughs> it's on your left hand side. Right, hang on, I'll go and have a look. I'll have a look. That's that's a stand-up necklace. Now, it's usually the bow really tight then. Oh, found it, found it. Well done, well done. It's the one that was a bit worse for wear, which also would make me think more um, Tesco than France and Fred than Fat Face. Um, is that, can you see that? That's the FFs in a kind of oval, oval disc. Is that good? There we go. They're like um, lowercase f's and just a plain bit on the back. There we go. All right, last few bits of beads. The bead pot. Also, I think I put dressing up or something on my vintage retro beads bundles that I do. Oh, I've got beads. Oh, you're not these are. Going that these are um, for glasses. Hang, hang your glasses off with them. I need something like that for my phone. Uh, I do you like these kind of shell, long shell, surfer boho type things? Oh, it's a nice, quite a nice looking fine chain on it actually. Oh, it's missing, going the broken. It's missing some stones. Um, so what we've got left, we've got half of them, we've got a moon, got a little moon, that would be nice layered up, I did sell a beach bundle as well this week, yesterday I think, of 15 beach necklaces like this kind of thing, I can't remember how much for, so I've got a few of that sort of thing on. Right, I'll continue this at my leisure. Oh, there's some mint gold hanging off of it that I quite like to untangle on that actually. Not I think it's gold, but just looks quite pretty. Have you shut the door, Mark? Oh, that's a nice little enamel 
Do you know what's made me get into these little enamel um, like flowers and stuff like this? This kind of style is pilgrim, and this is just like not pilgrim, but yeah, just a cute little pendant. We're here. This is nice as well, but it's a bit tarnished. Little heart tea bar toggle. Oh, look at that. It's not having a good day, is it? Another toggle on that, actually. Yeah, I think that'd do it for now. That's not hanging off of that. What is another m and necklace? Oh, m and also went through a phase of putting stuff on wire, fish wire, and the m and ones, you can untangle them, but they tend to, this one looks all right, actually. They, yeah, no, it's not. They, they, the trouble with them is they have bends, they have kinks in them. So even though, even m and S, I I wouldn't bother with that. Annoying. Oh, God, is that almost an hour? An hour? Right, we'll leave it at that, I think. Thank you, Ned Five for joining me. Um, I'll probably pop on and do a couple more jewellery sorts. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with the amount of necklaces I'm finding. Um, could go downhill, but it's working out well so far. So, um, wishing you all lots of sales. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and probably see you in a couple of days. Bye. Bye bye, don't die.